welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this JP Infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a Java project the title of the project is protecting your shopping preference with differential privacy so before seeing the execution of the project let me brief about this project in this project, the authors have proposed the concept of differential privacy in the online shopping portals. Basically, when a customer purchases any product from the online shopping and goes for the payment in the online banking system, the customer details or the product details or the price details are being disclosed to the online banks. So due to this, the privacy, there is a privacy issue and also there may be chances of various kinds of attack. So to overcome this kind of issues the authors are applying the differential privacy in the online banks so for that purpose the authors have proposed odior which means optimize differential private online transaction scheme so this scheme prevents this kind of attacks or the the shopping preferences of the users has been prevented basically this is not about having any kind of encryption or decryption so the pr the existing systems mostly apply the cryptography techniques but here the authors have proposed the differential privacy so simply to explain you how this differential privacy works you can see this part for example if a consumer needs to pay $12 to a merchant so if, if you are not applying this differential privacy, he will withdraw 12 12 dollars from this online bank. So the actual consumption amount is exposed to the online bank. But here, when we are applying this differential privacy, the sec we will be having a module called security module, where that security module adds some noise value. So the noise values means f the product value is 12 dollars they will be adding extra five dollars it is an example if the first five dollars is not a fixed one it varies according to the threshold values so it adds some uh, noise value such as five dollars which means it shows that it will be withdrawing seventeen dollars but actually this security model will be withdrawing only twelve dollars but the intermediate or the, the for the hackers or the for the attackers it will be shown that it will be withdrawing the 17 dollars which means that the actual amount is not been disclosed to the online bank or the intermediates so this module will be adding that noise value when they are the transaction is made and also it reduces the eliminates the five dollar when it's going to pay the actual amount in the bank so this is a basic example where the differential privacy is being applied so in such way this this differential privacy example is given for the the amount that we are going to pay in such manner we will be implementing this case for the account number and the for the payment detail. so in such way the actual details have been protected from the uh, which is not been exposed to the attackers or the intermediates and it will be prevented so let us see the execution of the project here you can see that there will be a merchant consumer account and security model and the consumers account in the online bank so this is the system model that we will be implementing so with these are the entities and these are the process of it so now let us see the execution of the project so we have developed this project in java using netbeans 8.2 and for the database we have used mysql and first let me load the project into the netbeans so go to the file and click open project and select the project Now kindly wait after selecting the project's uh, source code. So here you can see the progress of loading the project into the NetBeans. So till the, the progress bar is been completed, wait for it. So 
So now you can see the progress bar is completed. So the project is completely loaded into the NetBeans. In case if you are seeing such kind of uh, uh, error thing, it is not. It is it is because of the CSS file. Just you can click this plus button in the web pages wherever it is showing this error message, and you can see in the it is due to the CSS file. Just double click this. and just go to the error point and just give filter out So now you can see the error messages has been gone. So even if it is there, you can execute that one. So that is a normal CSS loading issue. So just ignore it. And now you can see it has been cleared. Just right click it and click run. And now you can see the welcome screen the home screen of the project with the project title protecting your shopping preferences differential privacy and the abstract that is mentioned in the base paper and here you can see the entities user merchant online bank and payment application okay so now let me go to the user part so here in the user part as i am a new user i'll be clicking by register and register my details the user registration page here enter your name email id phone number address and the password and click register <coughs> and here you can see the registration is success and click ok so once the registration is success you can just enter the credential that you have made it when you are making the online registration part and click login so the login is success and here you can see the welcome screen of the user with the username of it and after that you can see the products here you can see the products available in the shopping website and uh, here you can see the purchase details so still now I have not purchased any details so it has been empty here in the products page you can see the categories also for example if you want to categorize this product for example mobile and click search you can see the products of the mobile so currently there are four mobile products here so now let me log out and go to the merchant login so now let let us go to the merchant login for the merchant login you can just enter by uh, adding the email as admin and password as admin and click login you can see the login is successful and click ok so in the merchant login you can see the option of adding the product so this is the welcome screen of the merchant law merchant and here you can see the add product so here you can see you can add the products so the products that are shown to the user which is not a static one you can add any kind of products that you, you want and you can see the view products here in the, in the view products you can see what all the products that you have added so these are the products that have already been added and here in the user details you can see who are all the users available currently there are only two users that is been now let me show how to add products in the merchant page in the add product menu so first let me add up the product name for example to say I'll add redmi note 10 pro okay and brand is redmi and brand description is redmi note 10 pro and price i will enter is as 21000 and tag it as mobile and category as mobile and select the product image so just choose the file which is somewhat lesser in size so less than 10 kb like that 
just select a small image like this and you can preview this and you can see the details product name brand name product description price tag select category product image and click submit and once if it is been success you can see product added successfully and click ok now if you go to view products and just scroll down you can see the product that we have added that is redmi note 10 pro and redmi redmi note 10 pro 21000 mobile and mobile okay so now let us see the user part so i will log out this merchant page and just go to the user part in the user part So in the user part you can go to the product details and there you can see the product that we have added right now that is Redmi Note 10 Pro 21000. Okay. Now before making the purchase uh, I'll go for the online bank. So once the login is success, you can see the option in the bank like add account, account details, transactions and logout. Okay. So this is the home screen of the online bank and uh, let me add account. So for example, I'll enter my name here. Jay Prakash and account number. So account number for the convenience I'll be entering as one two three four five six so this is the account number I have entered and let me enter a bank name for example st State Bank of India and branch Pondicherry and let me show you by adding some lesser amount 20,000 and click submit and once if you go to the account details you can see the account details here with their details okay now here in the transaction page you can see what all the transactions done so now let me log out and go to the user page and in the user page just right now i will purchase a product and show you the details so once after logging in the user will go to the product page and select the product for example I will select this product now Redmi Note 10 Pro so you can if you wanted to buy this product I will be clicking this buy option I, will let, I have entered the account number of mine and the password and this is the default mode that is you can directly do not pay to the bank the payment application will be paying it and then clicking buy and here you can see you have insufficient balance okay only if you have entered your correct account number will be getting to the page and also only if you have having the sufficient fund you can buy the product in case if it is insufficient balance so let me add some funds in my account so i'll go for the online bank in the online bank i'll just add a fund of rupees 2000 and now you can see the fund is added successfully and you can see the total amount is 22000 so let me log out and go for the product purchase now in the user page And click login here in the products I'll select this product and go for the purchase and now I'll enter one two three four five six and the account password and then click buy so now you can see the product is purchased successfully and click OK okay and now in purchase details you can see the product that we have purchased this is the product we purchased and log out now let me show the differential privacy concept so if you go to the online bank sorry if you go to the online bank and click login you can go to the transactions 
once if you go to the transaction you can see the username the product name but here you can see the account number is different that is one two three four five six what is our account number but that adding the noise that to the differential privacy concept is being done for the account number and also price you can see where the product price is 21,000 but here you can see the product price is about 21,000 of 250 and you can see the purchase date and time so this is the differential privacy concept but when you go to the exact your username for so sorry you, uh, with your username and password if you go to your uh, account and you can see the price that you purchase but you can see the differential pri privacy concept is been applied over the online banking here you can see the price is only 21000 but you can see the adding noise to that concept and in payment application so in the payment application login with the username pay and pay and click ok and once you log in successfully you can see the welcome screen of the payment application here you can see the purchase details so even here you can see the product image the product name the username the purchase date details and here you can see the differential privacy concept so you differential privacy you can see the username Jaya Prakash the product name Redmi Note 10 Pro you can see the differential account number is different and price is different and purchase date and time so differential privacy is being applied over here and as last you can see a evaluation of graph where you can see the a dynamic graph with the analysis of the total products available and purchase products the total number of 14 products and purchased is four products so this varies according to the product you are adding and also purchasing accordingly you can see the analysis graph will be vary and you can save this result as print or save as jpeg or save as ads png format so let me show by saving as jpeg in the chart so here you can see And this is all about the project protecting your shopping preference with differential privacy and thank you for watching.